My stuff's still unpacked from Go Wild. My house is a wreck. My voice is still gone mostly. Got a lot to do this week. Good morning, everybody. It is the week of Monday, May 6th through Sunday, May 12th in my Erin Condren Horizontal Neutral Planner 2019. I am going to be doing a pet only plan with me today because I'm exhausted. This is actually Tuesday. I didn't even touch my ship Monday. My stuff's still unpacked from Go Wild. My house is a wreck. My voice is still gone mostly. I gotta get my shit going because I got a lot to do this week. So I'm gonna just start playing. I'm probably gonna go live tomorrow on my channel. I'll figure out a time and I'll post it in the community tab. But I'm gonna go live tomorrow instead of a regular video and that way I can. I was gonna try and vlog and I got some pieces of it but I just didn't do enough and so I figured I'd just talk about it tomorrow on the channel as well as talking about some of the new Aaron Condren stuff because I got to get a better look at the binders and things like that when I was in Vegas. Anyway, let's just get started. Now I'm not gonna be doing the shit that I normally do, doodling washi when I'm drunk. I'm gonna use the black flags to cover these up and then other than that, I think it's just going to be pen only. We'll see how it goes. These flags aren't going to be necessary in my new planner because the flags are gone. So I'm going to have to find other uses for them because I love these stickers so much from Chrissy Ann Designs. Although, as you can see, I use the black ones less often than I use the white ones or like the colorful ones. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is just draw in lines in these boxes so that I can be ready for my... Well, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is just write note across Monday because I didn't do shit in my planner. All right, there's Monday. See, I'm already making progress. <laughs> I'm gonna draw in my lines for blood pressure and so on and so forth. And I'll chat as soon as I'm done with those, but using rulers gives me the fucking non-happiness and I'm already tired and wiped out. Sorry if I sound grumpy. I'm not grumpy, I'm just exhausted. Have I mentioned I hate using rulers? I was smearing all over everything. This is a new pilot pen, so it's super juicy and like it's smearing everywhere and it's rulers and you know, I'm like, pen only. It's gonna be less frustrating because I'm tired. And then of course, you know, I have to ruler the shit out of it. So anyway, I'm gonna put my weather in. I'm gonna just do it for the whole rest of the week because I don't wanna have to worry about it later. Maybe a little less accurate, but who fucking cares, right? Not me today, I have zero fucks. Whenever I do a video that is one that gets found by a lot of people outside of my subscribers, because if there's one thing I'm not great at necessarily, it's reaching a lot of people who aren't my subscribers. Apparently, and this is not, this is not something that I have necessarily like decided myself, but according to a lot of like the YouTube guru type people, you're supposed to have a higher percentage of non-subscribers to subscribers watching your videos in order to grow. That's never been the case for me. I always have many more subscribers than non-subscribers, which means you guys who subscribe, you fucking like my videos and I'm okay with that. But when I put out a video that pulls in more people than usual, like more new people, as an example, the Erin Condren um, release video last week, there's always comments about my cussing. This is not an invitation to go and give them shit. Don't go give them shit. They are entitled to their opinions, but... <laughs> I feel like today I'm like extra cussy and maybe that's part of it. I don't know. So yeah, don't be an asshole to people in my comments. I don't think you will. You guys are great. You're not assholes. But on the same note, it always amuses me because then I know a video has started to reach other people because I start seeing more and more of those comments about the F-bomb. Anyway, complete total ramble. I'm still working on my first cup of coffee. All right, there's my weather and notice we have a thunderstorm or something coming on Thursday. Not something I usually see in my weather app. Anyway, and I've got my list of things to do. I have not meal planned. That is something I should do today, allegedly. I don't know if I'm gonna have time. I have a freelance email I got that I need to take care of today. So I'm gonna just go down the line and just do each day as opposed to going through doing my timed appointments and going back. I'm just trying to blow through everything I know I have to do because one of the things I need to do this week is sit down and really assess everything. Like this is kind of a big basic start, but I do need to kind of sit with all the stuff I have to do this week to catch up after being gone for Go Wild and figure my shit out. So that's actually something that needs to happen. But two things that have to happen today 
relatively quickly are I have a patron Facebook live to catch up with them this afternoon at two. And then I need to send an email to my email list to remind them that I am going live on Friday, the book club, uh, like wrap up in the Mama's Love Lettering Facebook group. All right, so I got those two things on here. The other things I've got on my long list for today are to unpack. I have a metric shit ton of laundry. Let's just put it this way. I'm on my last pair of clean underwear and I have a million pairs of underwear. I need to meal plan. I have to do some work on my book, by the way. I'll talk more about this in my live video tomorrow when I go on, when I figure out what time it is. I'll have figured it out by the end of this video. Let's put it that way. I'm writing a book. I announced it to my patrons a couple weeks ago. I announced it to everyone at go wild at during my session on Friday. God, I sense a horse. But yes, I'm writing a lettering book and it will be out at the end of the year, hopefully, if everything goes well. And I got some work to do today. That's the big project I was working on throughout Plan As You Go month. I'll talk more about it tomorrow when I go live. Anyway, I'll tell you when that is when I figure it out. And then I need to continue planning my week out and I got a little bit of work I have to do for Kristen. That's a lot of shit. I don't know if I'm gonna get it all done today, but I need to. Thankfully, the laundry can run while I'm doing this, but I might be able to meal plan while I'm in the car waiting to pick up Katie. Even if I don't know what's in the, the, the cabinet, I can start at least. We'll see. God, it sounds like I'm still smoking. Ah, Vegas. So I'm going to start lettering this shit in here. All right, there's my day so far. And I mean, that's pretty much gonna be all of it. And I'm probably, it's probably gonna be a rough one. We'll see how it goes. Wednesday, I need to get blood work done. Um, I have some editing to do. I wanna go live. Like I said, I need to write a report for church. I need to go to the dry cleaners and Katie has early release. So I need to remember that. I'm thinking I will go live tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Let's just go with that. We're gonna go with it. 4 p.m. Pacific time. Going live Wednesday the 8th. So live at 4 p.m. and blood work are the two like kind of timed things. I need to do blood work first thing in the morning and then I'll get the rest of this in there as well. I may not leave any room tomorrow because I feel like tomorrow is also pretty packed. All right, there's Wednesday. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space and I'll figure the rest of it out tomorrow. Thursday, I have some filming to do. I have a video appointment with my doctor in the afternoon. I'm gonna like kind of check my inbox for anything urgent, but I'm probably gonna really dig into my inbox on Thursday because it'll be the first day I can really focus on it. Like I didn't look at my emails hardly at all. I, I kept notifications on for my emails in case something urgent came up. Thankfully, I'm not board president at my church anymore, so I didn't have to worry too much about stuff like that, but I did keep my emails open. But the reception wasn't always great at church, and so like I dropped the ball on a couple things while I was gone, not gonna lie. All right, I put inbox for sure, because I need that to be done. I should meal plan for the following week too. It's a lot of meal planning. I'll worry about that later. Okay, Friday, I have a live in my Facebook group, Llamas Love Lettering for the book club at four. I need to post something to Amino. I have to edit my podcast. It should be the podcast I did at Go Wild. And I need to schedule next week. And my kids go back to their dad's house, but they come back again on Sunday. Our custody is really strange in May. And then Saturday, um, I don't have much on Saturday, thank God. We don't really have any plans, which means we're probably doing work around the house. We need to wash our sheets and I have a patron hangout on Saturday evening and I need to renew my Dropbox. I have to pay up that bill. And other than that, I have nothing and I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna put relax because I feel like that might be tempting fate. And like I said, I'm going to leave that blank. Sunday, I have, um, I don't actually have anything. <laughs> I don't have meetings. I don't have any of that. I don't even have to go to church if I don't want to that day. Jesse does because he has a committee meeting. And the kids come back that day from their dads. 
So I'm gonna put Jesse's meeting on here and that the kids are coming back and again, leaving it blank. That was my weak ass attempt at a treble clef. So I put kids to dads, kids back. Now in my notes section, I am going to just write the, the phrase choo choo motherfucker. It came from my podcast where I told people in it to get, they need to get all on board the gravy train of life, choo choo motherfucker. And it has been in my head and apparently a lot of other people's heads ever since. So I'm writing that on here for the week. And the reason I said it is because I was pointing out that you have to like be able to like live your life and care about your life. I, fe- I realized and this podcast should be up in about a week, but I, I realized that when I was looking at words and definitions and everything that the one of the opposites of life is indifference. And so you need to give a shit about your life. And so this is to remind me to get back on track, not because my life is off track, but because it's really easy for me to spend time in bed and exhausted. And even if I do a lot of that this week, because I need to take care of my body, I also need to inch forward a little bit every day. And that's what this is going to inspire me to do. So I would love to hear from you. If you went to go wild, what was your favorite thing? And if you didn't go to go wild, I'd love to know something you're doing this week to kind of inch forward in your life, even if it's just a little tiny thing. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow when I go live at 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And until then, see you next time. Asta.